What's up guys and welcome back to Forza Horizon 5. Excited to be back. We are back behind the wheel of one of the most insane vehicles we have ever seen in this game. I genuinely think it's the, the best vehicle to ever bless us in a Forza Horizon. And what, what was that sound that we... It sounds like a jet engine about to take off from up front, dude. Oh my goodness, I love it. So, um, yeah, we are going to be back in the Lambo Sesto Elemento today. And I figured it was a good time to continue on with our story mode grind. So we are going to be working on the Goliath. This is the, uh, the monstrosity, one of the biggest races in the game. Technically not the biggest here in FH5, but uh, it's notorious. It, it started first, I think, back in Horizon 3 in Byron Bay. It was like one of the final races you unlocked. And you get it here for completing the um, the main the main festival. So if we go in, we don't want the map. We want to go to our Horizon Adventure. And we are going to be able to take on the main stage, baby. Here we go. The ultimate Horizon Mexico event. Now it's all good. I'll start putting together ground crew, officials, and barriers. Lots and lots of barriers. All right. Sounds good to me. Let's go take it on. This is one of the craziest things you can do. In terms of on-road stuff, of course, obviously the um, the gauntlet or whatever we did in our, our last episode was uh, was the longest race, but it was mostly off-road. So here we go, the Goliath road racing. This is it. The final boss of Horizon hey, Mexico, amigo. 34 miles. And here we have the go-ahead for the Goliath. Genial. I hope you're ready, my friend. The way you drive, you might see all of Mexico in one afternoon. Looks like it might be stormy as well, which is going to be kind of interesting. So we're going to hop in the best vehicle that we have. The Mexico Goliath is officially the biggest race by distance in Horizon history. <laughs> uh, good luck. Okay, I didn't know that. So this is actually technically the longest race in Horizon history. Now, in terms of actual race length by like time, by the, the time it takes to complete, it's not going to be quite as long as the gauntlet, but um, point to point. Distance traveled, number of miles under our belt. This thing, oh, that was that was a clean group of passes right there. Are you kidding me? It just naturally went through that corner, splitting the gap of everyone. Oh, be careful, Trev. We're good. Okay. Try to catch up to first. Oh, we we had a we had a miraculous start here. Got to break a little bit. Don't want to end up going too crazy. We got a chicane at 200 miles an hour. No big deal. We got this. So yeah, longest race in Horizon history. This thing started back in Horizon 3. We played it in 3. We played it in 4. Now we're here playing it in 5. Hopefully going to be able to uh, to get a win. Okay, Trev. I was I was not ready. I was I was not prepared, but we're going to be fine. It looks like uh, I mean everybody's kind of sticking together here. That's good. We're we're going to take a little detour, cut a little bit of grass and Get, get back to it here. We are truly going to find the very edge of what this guy can do. Oh. <laughs> oh okay. Um, I, I'm, I'm going to use I'm going to use a rewind. That that was I wasn't ready for him to be just walking along the bridge on the sidewalk there, dude. Like, come on. What are you doing? We we can't come to a dead stop in the middle of the race. Oh. <laughs> Okay, we're, we're back in it. We're going to be fine here. Don't don't you worry about the fact that first place is, is definitely pulling away from us and we need a much a much smoother race. We've got a tough segment through here. Got to be honest, I'm not sure if this was the... Oh, don't, don't slide, Trev. Don't slide. That's not what we want. I'm not sure this was the best vehicle we could have chosen. Obviously, it's, it's the fastest, best thing in our garage, best thing in the game, really. Just because it's fast, though, doesn't, doesn't mean it's the best choice. There's... No doubt it makes things a little bit more difficult when you're when you're doing it at, at 200 miles an hour. Not to mention, please tell me we didn't miss that. We didn't, but we are sliding. Not to mention, it's just like it, it I don't know. Stiffer competition, more of a, oh, whew, that was close to that, that pylon right there. More of a need to hit every apex perfectly. Who did not mean to run into him there, holy cow. I don't know. It's everything is just is that much more difficult when you're you're going this fast. Obviously, be careful to try to break in a, a straight line here, Trev. Obviously, the tapping the brakes and trying to slide through a corner is fun, but that's 
most definitely not the, the fastest way to race. The other thing is, is honestly, this, this Sesto Elemento is just inhuman. The speeds and the things that it lets you to do, lets you do at those speeds, just don't make sense. So like, I, I feel like I need to break more in corners than I actually do. The game will show you, hey, this is a red corner, slow down, slow down. Red lines, be careful. And this thing's like, nah, I got this. Ooh, my goodness, this is just so beautiful. Heard a bunch of seagulls or something back there. We're definitely stronger in the straights than everybody else. I think it's our, oh, what happened there? Why'd he, he like randomly slowed down in the middle of the road. There's like a weird racing line that the computer was gonna take. Okay, we are way out in front now. Let's try to be smart about it, dude. It, it the speed that this thing can break, that it can, it can gas, that it can, it can do everything. Okay. Whew. You got your work cut out for you, Trev. You really got to be careful. I, I keep, I keep t like tapping the brake. Tapping the brake is the worst thing that you can do in this, this thing. As I tap the brake again. Let's go, come on. Come on. It's not gonna be easy. <laughs> Dude, I, I didn't take it completely flat, but I think we might have been able to take that corner completely flat. This segment right here is probably gonna be where we need to make, make up the most time. Going through those canyons is insane. I guess we have some straights through here too. Then it gets a little bit more difficult again. Okay. This, this is where the money is made. Lift and shift, baby. Don't, don't tap. This thing likes somebody who just lifts a little bit occasionally. You know, gotta, gotta put some muscle on. Oh my goodness, dude, it grips so, so tightly to these corners. Just not letting go. Like it's at a ninth grade prom or something. You don't really go to prom in ninth grade unless you're Gangsta getting invited by the upperclassmen, but you guys know what I mean. Come on. Let's go. Let me catch that Ferrari real quick. Let me catch that Ferrari real quick. Ooh, we're getting close. Dude, this this is my favorite part of this game, this, this segment of the roads. You've got nothing to distract you, no houses, no resorts, nothing crazy, just you and the road. You've got the sea on the right. Now we start getting into a little bit more complicated stuff, but all the, the roads are so windy. There's no 90 degree turns. You can just absolutely fly, my guy. It does look like we might be starting to get into some of the more difficult stuff. Oh yeah, we've got a right-hander coming up here. Make sure you stay far left, Trev. Honestly, broke a little bit a little bit too hard there, but we're okay. Little couple lifts, we're gonna be fine. Here we go. Four skill points just out of that segment alone. Looks like we got a loopy section coming up next. Come on, baby. We're gonna catch him. We're gonna catch him. Dude, this is so, I, I, I can't go inside. This race is too fast. I wanna go inside for you guys, but I can't do it. It's too intense. Now these make me nervous, because if you get a, a little, Oh, we got him. If you get a little frisky on the corners, sometimes there's big old tree roots right there and you end up getting stopped in your tracks. That is about the worst thing that we could have happen. So we need to make sure we stay on the road through here. Push it, because he's not gonna stop, but just make sure you stay on the road. He's catching, he's gaining a bit, dude. How close are we? I'm, I'm nervous to, to look. There's no percentage or anything anywhere that I can see. Dude, he, I, I could feel him breathing down our neck right there. I don't think I've been on this, this bridge too many times. This is nice. I mean, we gotta be getting close. We're on the, the north side of the map now, right? Or the uh, south is, is what I meant, sorry. Homie's going so fast that we don't even know what direction's up and down at this point. We might be back in Australia in Horizon 3, back in Horizon Bay, or, or what, what was it called? Byron, Byron Bay, not Horizon Bay. Woo! My goodness. This thing just saved my butt right there. Holy cow. It, it, see, it, 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 doesn't, it doesn't make sense. You shouldn't 
be able to go this fast. You should not be able to go this fast and take corners like you can. I don't even see him in the back. Ah, he's there. Okay. Don't get too, too cocky, Trev. Confident, not cocky. I lied. We're going to hop back inside, baby. Here we go. A little bit of inside time, dude. He is all over us. Got to protect what's ours. Woo, we're good. Okay. Uh, okay. I'm, I'm pulling back out. I'm pulling back out. I'm pulling back out. Let's go. Come on. Oh, <laughs> my God. I'm just, I'm, I'm nervous. Some of these quarters, I just, I, I gotta be able to see what's coming a bit more because, I mean, obviously, obviously he wants our lunch. Bro, he's the only one anywhere close to us. Look at everyone else behind us. Look, look at this section of guys back here. What, what, oh, we got a break. What is happening? This guy's, ugh, he's all over us. Here we go. Dig through that corner. We're good. We should be coming up on the east side, on the Tulum side coming up here. We got a little mini chicane, nothing to see, nothing to see. Maybe a little breaking through here. Don't want to hit any trees. Oh, he's there. All right, back outside. Just got to stay as cool, calm, and collected as possible. This is, this is it. This is, this is the final set. Where'd he go? He's back there. You weren't man enough to take that segment back there. Come on, bud. Shouldn't say that. He's, he's still close, Trev. He's still close. Come around through here. Oh, run into the palm trees. That was too close. We hit the palm trees right at the end. We won by less than a car length. Nine minutes and 31 seconds. What was our, our final time on the other one? I don't remember. I, th I thought it was closer to 20. Dude, that was insane. That was absolutely Just heart because pounding. Because I don't think I can sit through that again. My heart wouldn't take it. Got a 1969 Dodge Charger RT. We'll take it. Gonna get some XP. Gonna earn ourselves a wheel spin. Let's see what we get from the wheel spin gods. 100,000 credits. That's not too bad. And that, my friends, is the Goliath. We definitely should have picked something slower. It would have been easy. Dude, if we could have putzed along in a freaking... Hyundai Sonata or something that would have been nice you know a stock Bronco just go go like this fast through the whole thing would have made it a lot more enjoyable ah who am I kidding that was too much fun hope you guys enjoyed thank you guys so much for watching I'm gonna see you guys in our next episode I believe we have um we've got we've got two of these left so we'll, we'll probably do another build or two and then eventually we're gonna do the final uh, Apex Racing one the final Baja one and then that's gonna be a wrap on the Horizon storyline. Then we're gonna get more into, you know, builds and online. And I, I kinda wanna check out some of the community-made playlists and stuff. There's a lot for us to do, a lot we haven't delved into yet. I'm excited, hope you guys are too. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Sorry if this one ended up being a little bit short. I'm worried it, it might be, but I just got back from, from Vegas. Wanted to make sure I got an episode up. It's already gonna be kinda late, to be honest. Oh shoot, it's already 8 p.m. We might not even, might not even make it on the day I want to upload this. I'm going to try my best. I got to get to editing. Catch you all later. Peace out.